Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84 and I've had to pop into work today but I thought I'd come home and do a video on one of my tropicals that I've brought outside for a little bit of treatment so people could see how it's done over winter Behold the ice cream bean Now this is quite a rare tropical um, I haven't seen anybody else growing one here in the UK, but I'm sure there are a few people growing them. Um, this is known as Inga edulis. So that again is ice cream bean. I don't know if I can focus on the uh, label. Yeah, Inga edulis or ice cream bean. Now I think these are native to... They're mostly native to South America. They're probably from the uh, um, from the various jungle areas here. Um, as you can see, it's quite an attractive plant. It's got um, these sort of pinnate leaves with almost like wings along the stem. Um, basically, it's uh, surprisingly for a tropical fruit, it's a leguminous plant. So it produces large sort of what look like bean pods. Uh, and inside they have a, like a white fluffy flesh that surrounds the seeds. It looks a little bit like candy floss from what I've seen in other videos and apparently the flesh is quite sweet and reminiscent of vanilla ice cream, hence the name ice cream bean. Now because they're a leguminous uh, fruit tree, they, uh, they are nitrogen fixers. So uh, they actually absorb nitrogen from the atmosphere and put it into the ground just like a lot of the normal beans and other legumes that you might be growing in your garden. Now that would mean that if you had, if you were fortunate enough to live in a tropical climate where you could grow these outside, obviously it would be a good tree to plant in the garden and then you could underplant it because they're quite vigorous uh, growing. You could underplant it with other plants that like to high nitrogen soil because obviously this absorbs the nitrogen from the atmosphere and then puts it into the ground. Now, this is obviously has been in my kitchen like the other tropicals and although you can see there are a few uh, sort of brown leaf ends, um, I'm not altogether sure whether they are simply old age because it's been in the it's been inside all winter. I don't know if they're possible scorch on the end of the leaves. And it could be salt burn as well, because obviously I've most of the time I've been watering with tap water, which contains quite a lot of impurities and salts and probably chlorine or fluorine and stuff like flu, fluorine and stuff like that. So it's probably not ideal for the trees. But one thing I can say about this is these are quite a, um, a sort of precocious. Uh, vigorous tree. This has actually continued, whereas most of my tropicals have been completely dormant over winter, this has continued to grow slowly but steadily the whole winter. I, I would say that the stems have put on about, looks like they've put on about, the two main stems have put on eight inches since uh, October or November when I bought it inside, so it has continued to grow. Um, I said apparently they do take full sunshine and make a good sh sh shade tree for for lower growing tropic tropicals, but that's not really relevant here because I'll be carrying it on in a container. But <clears throat> it seems to have done very well over winter, coped quite well with the low light levels, coped quite well with the... Uh, the dry atmosphere in the house. As I said there's a little bit of browning on the leaves but I'm not altogether sure that's caused by the dry atmosphere. But as I said it's continued to grow. Um, I have no idea how many years it would take to get to a flowering size in a pot. Possibly never. But um, it would be interesting to see how this one carries on. Um, doesn't really suffer much from pest attacks here. Um, I do get I, I notice the odd mealy bugs crop up on the crop up crop up on the stems and have done over winter but they don't seem to have sort of taken the plant over so it's obviously not that tasty to them. Really I'm only talking about seeing four or five mealy bugs which you can remove by hand or give a little spray to. Let's walk around this side. It's got um, it's got three main stems on it. I think, it had, I think it had two two shoots when I got it. I probably had this one 
think I got this one in August or September 2018 and I repotted it last summer and I'm guessing it took a little while to get the roots established but as I said it's done it's done well over winter and uh, I'm hoping that it'll probably that it could put on a foot or two this summer if I keep it uh, keep it well watered and looked after they're reasonably hardy I mean you certainly couldn't grow it outside here but I think it would comfortably take down to about three or four degrees centigrade without major damage so you know if you got caught out in a very light frost on a mature tree i think it would recover quite quickly because they're so quick growing but um said so probably about three or four degrees centigrade which is uh, about 37 38 fahrenheit you'd probably get away with so if you lived in a slightly warmer climate than us here in the uk you could probably chance it outside um certainly uh, my good friend uh, fruitopia um has a very substantial uh, and he's in melbourne based he's got a huge ice cream tree in his garden and i knew they they do i know they do occasionally get light frosts there although obviously they're a warm temperate sort of oceanic climate whereas we're a cool temperate oceanic climate here in the uk nevertheless i'm pleased i got this because i'm hoping one day to get a couple of uh, seed pods off it which will have the fruit inside to see what they taste like anyway for anyone interested uh, i thought i'd do a longer video than normal on my ice cream bean that's inga it do list there are other there are other species available but this is the one that i've got but nevertheless an attractive looking plant even if it never flowers and fruits um thank you anyone who's watched uh, please do like the video by all means share the video if you think anyone else is interested please subscribe to my channel about growing uh, unusual fruits here in the uk and hit the bell if you'd like to know about update videos when i post them and i'll catch up with you all in the next video brett out for now thanks for watching everybody